Rossi R92 disassembly coming up. So before we get into taking apart your Rossi lever gun, let's go over a few things. First of all, this is a little bit more involved of a disassembly than many other firearms. If you haven't done this sort of thing a lot and aren't sure if you have the technical expertise for it, go ahead and watch the video here to make sure that you can do that before you get into trouble. Now there are a few tools that you're going to need to get this Rossi apart. First of all, a screwdriver. Second, you're gonna need a punch or a set of punches to get some pins out. Third, you're gonna need a wood block or some wood dowels to be able to knock some things around with. You're going to want to have a spent case or a dummy round for whatever cartridge your Rossi is in. Mine is in 38 and 357, so I have a 357 brass here. You're going to need one small piece of flexible wire to use at one point. And it might be nice to have a few other things like some needle nose pliers and a flashlight um, if the lighting is not really great where you're at. So let's get into taking this thing apart. All right, we'll go ahead and get started. I'm going to get this screw off right there. And that will just slide off just like that. So we got this apart. We're going to go ahead and put your stock somewhere safe. Then I'll have a mug here that I'm going to keep all my screws and bits in because, yep, you're going to need them. All right, now we're going to take a little piece of wire. There's a hole right in there. You see how that, you know, moves that spring there. What we've got to do is you've got to look here. And you'll see that there's a hole here in the main piece right along here. As we pull this here, we wait for that hole to line up with that spot right there. And then once it gets there, you stick your wire through it. And that holds that in place. You want to keep that in there the whole time. If that comes out, you're going to have a bad time. And now what we're going to have will be a screw on the other side of this hole that screw out right there and just a little tiny screw now here there will be a piece that can be knocked out you're going to have to knock a pin out with a punch here it's going to be from this side Okay, and that will knock it out right there, this little guy here. Okay, now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get the uh, lever all the way open here and try to get that to pull out. If it doesn't, a lot of them are tight, you can use these here. These are just uh, locking screws here on it. The one is an actual screw that comes out, the other one's just kind of a pin that comes out. So we'll take this short little tiny screw out there. And then this guy is a, isn't actually threaded in. It's slotted so you can align it to get that curve there, but it's pretty much just a, a pin that will come out like that. And that will come out. And these little, little pieces will come out now. All right, now we've got screw right here which that one will come out right there doesn't want to come out as you unscrew it you can wiggle the trigger a little bit and that will help it come out okay so now we should be able to get the tang removed from it here if it's tight you might have to get something and bang on it there for it to come loose. Right there. We got that. That's why this 
little wire right in here is important. At this point, the bolt should be able to come out. Now, as you pull the bolt out, there's some little pieces on the front of this that can come off. So we want to watch that. They're going to be right up in here. So just kind of slide it here. And I'll show you these little pieces. You can have this guy right there. We're going to have this spring right there. And then there should be a little maybe it'll come out it didn't come out there it's okay here it is right there that guy that's an annoying little thing to have to hang on to let's put that in our okay now we'll go ahead and remove the little carrier lifter right there I'm gonna do that with this screw right there And it's just a little tiny screw right there. And then there will be one right here on the other side. And into our little cup we go. Now you can take something to slide it out. There is a little spring and a little detent in there. Those will be right along the side of it there over on that on that side of the receiver. But we'll go ahead and just kind of push this guy out there and we'll get it out here. Okay, right in here, you can see what's going on with this. There's this little piece right there. And that's pushed up there. And then there's actually supposed to be a little detent that goes right in there and holds it. Now, um, in taking mine apart once, I lost my original detent. Um, and the one that I made kind of fell out while it was being used. When it's together, that is never going to come out. Um, but it could at some other point um, once you have it apart. And you will definitely need something to take the place of that. So if you don't have that, you'll have to make something else to go in there we'll address that when we go to put it back together since i lost mine but for the moment we'll just stick that guy in it right there and that'll keep it from uh falling out there okay now to get the loading gate out um you have to stick your finger in here but you gotta stick your finger up against it there i can kind of feel some sharp bits in there now um, but you want to have your finger up against the back of this piece if you don't know where that is you can push it there and you'll feel it with your finger on your other hand and then it'll be that screw right there. So again, tiny little screw goes in our cup and that will just kind of fall out there. Fall out loading gate. If you want to take the cartridge guides out, you can do that at this point. Just by that right there helpful to put your finger on the bottom of the cartridge guide there yeah it goes a cartridge guide and same thing on this side put your finger up against the bottom of the cartridge guide take that right there and our pins here give that a little there we go right there this one you can see has got some other stuff going on with it there with this little grabby bit so that's everything on the receiver if you want to get the magazine apart it's going to be done on this screw right there now keep your finger up against that the whole time keep it on there very good and it will go into that we can take this right here and just kind of give that, well, take this one, give that a little right there, which will just pop that a little bit. And you can take this and kind of control the spring out of it. So we've got that bit. We have our spring. Then as we dump this this way, we'll have, okay, you're going to be like, hey, my gun doesn't have that, Jeremy. Yeah, I have a plug in mind. There's a reason for that. It had to do with shortening the spring spring uh, to make it easier to load i've got a whole video about that and then lastly if it doesn't want to come out 
you can look in here and see your follower. Give your follower a push. And now it'll come out. There we go. And this just comes with the base little plastic follower there. A lot of people talk about these breaking. It does feel pretty thin. Feels kind of like a cap to like a marker or something. So I may get a metal one to uh, go on that at some point. If you really feel like it, you can get the barrel bands off. Now this will just keep spinning. At some point you're going to have to just push it with a, you know, little guy there. Get that out. Take this and give it some knocks right there. I'm going to get this one off. This is a little bit bigger screw. Really tight and doesn't want to go. The first time you take one off, I haven't done this barrel band before, you can... Give that a good whack a few times. There you go. And there's a little bit longer one there. And to get that off, we'll have to. You don't really want to pry, just kind of put it in there and just twist a little bit just to get the bottom, okay? Not wanting to pry, just kind of twist a little. There we go. And it's got that barrel band off. That barrel band won't quite make it around the sight. And that just pulls forward like that. This will go out. Now that barrel band will go off. And hey, looky here. If you wanted to, I'm not going to do it because there are ramifications of this. You could drift that side out right there you could drift that side out right there and so that's going to be as taken apart as you're probably ever going to want to take this thing if you need some assistance in getting it back together and you probably will i have a reassembly of video available for you if you found this video useful be sure to give it a thumbs up and a like you can go down into the comment section and leave any thoughts you have down there and if you're interested you can also subscribe to my channel and click the little bell notification to make sure that you catch all the videos that i post so you don't miss anything i'm jeremy with poindexter g and we'll see you next time